Hey, what's up guys? Dennis here from primetraders.com and in this video I'm going to be going over exactly what happened on Friday, the 21st of February 2020. We're going to be going over a recap of the trades we took, exactly what we did to trade those trades and we have a few of them still running over the weekend. I'm recording this on a Sunday. Um, so I'll show you the profits, I'll show you the trades, I'll show you the losses. We'll go over the direct or the whole summary of what happened and then I'll quickly show you why and how we traded each trade. Uh, if you didn't know, we run a community and in that community I provide ongoing updates of each trade, exactly what I'm doing, the tactic and so forth. So because I don't have too much time to record this whole video um, and I don't want to just throw out a million things out there because I can just make a specific webinar just about Friday, exactly how it, the trades were traded, how they were managed, um, why they were entered and so forth. But you don't have the time to watch that and I don't have the time to do that right now. Sunday is a day for family, but it's also a day to make sure that Monday starts off great. Let's go into my trading account, one, and then let's go to trading view and show you exactly why we traded each trade as number two, so we can, well, provide you more knowledge and make your decision of joining Prime Traders easier, or if you're already a member, for you to further understand exactly how we trade. Let's get going. Okay, so we are in my trading account. You can see that this is a live account with, with 12,522. We just started this account last week. After having plenty of success on other accounts, we decided to just join everything up and... Um, yeah, this is going to be the full-time account. So you can see that the Friday trades, which were opened on Friday and closed on Friday, 21st of February 2020, earned us about um, 1,500 euros, which was great. And I'll go over all of the trades here. Um, you can see that some were closed with small pips. We did have a loser here, uh, one loser actually. Uh, some small pips here, and I'll separate them by symbol. So you can see there's... There has been some compounding on um, Euro CHF. Uh, what happened here was the trailing stop was activated. I would love to show you this on Euro CHF. No, this is USD CHF, one second. So USD CHF. So let's just go over the trades together here. So we took a short position. If you're in the community, you would know. This is the biggest winner here, 43 pips. There's the sell. We had some profits, a bit of a loss, and then profits, profits, profits. So that one was opened here. The next one was opened here. And then we have the third one, which took profit because of uh, it moving, uh, us moving the stop loss into actual profit. Uh, all in all, three profitable trades here. And you can see that the profit was even bigger, but the trailing stop moved our SL into profit. And you can see that both positions were closed at the exact same price. You see that. Uh, there's the closing price. Now, let's go over the DAX here. We had a few trades on the DAX. I did start buying it in the beginning. Uh, there's the buy, but I very quickly went out of it. There's another buy here, closed in a small profit. And then the idea was reversed into a sell. And there's the big gainer here. This is a trailing stop too. Price action went down, down. Trailing stop went into profit. And we got stopped out on a trailing stop on that trade too. On this one here. And this one here, this is a re-entry based on price action hitting our trailing stop. And then I re-entered the short here based on this resistance level. And that worked out great. And you can see price action quickly reversing into towards the losing side. So manually closing this to in the profit was a really good decision. Um, finally, let's go over Euro JPY. We bought this one as a momentum buy. But because I realized there is a possible double top on the four hour, I said, Let's close this out, and we did two trades here, 40, 34 pips and 48 pips. BEA, beautiful. We have a couple of active trades still from Friday. We decided to hold on to them. One of the main ones would be a WTI buy. Uh, we did re-enter this one based on a retest of a four-hour support. Uh, we're trading a momentum trade here. It looks good. Everything went well, and we have a tiny win here on Euro CHF. Uh, let me show you this. So Euro CHF here, we entered down. We were in a pretty decent profit. I put the stop loss into profit by one pip that was hit. We made two euros, 22 cents gross, sorry, net. And we went out. Uh, all in all, we have active profits for the weekend of 626 euros. There are the trades. Uh, we're going a bit aggressive on WTI. I still have 0.5 lots left to go along on this here. 
all free trades and profits so far markets open up we'll see how they react to that uh, euro jpy here in a loss i don't have a stop loss here yet but i've just set one that's the good thing about c trader you can actually put a stop loss um, so the dax no trades there euro chf one trade with a stop loss there it is um, euro jpy just showed you this euro gbp in profit locked in 2.7 we don't care AUD USD locked in trailing stop is pretty close first trade here 10 pips in profit you see that second trade with a trailing stop loss 11 pip, sorry 2.3 pips in profit and the third one in no profit and we'll put the stop loss right at the bottom here so yeah uh, those are all of our trades with WTI as well here in a profit I will lock this one in just in case but we're going aggressive here, so we have 0 0.5 lots left. Uh, basically building the position from the bottom. We open the trade, another one and another one, and we have 0 0.5 lots left. There's the take profit right here, which is 120% from top to bottom. Uh, USDCHF, we're clean, so I'll remove it. We're not going to be trading it anymore. Well, let me, let me... That's it. Let's go to trading view. Okay, so we are at our trading view account. We're going to start going over the multiple time frame analysis or a recap of what was going on so you can understand exactly why each trade was entered i again i need to remind you that i did i will not be going over the whole tactic of the trade it will take me too long and uh, that's something that uh, our members will pretty much get in a comment section and short videos from me all the time so you basically understand how each trade is traded i'm going to start from the bottom and i'm going to start with an active trade and this is usd uh, wti buy um, but before I get there, I need you guys to know, uh, you good people of the internet, tr you traders and wannabe traders, that we are proactive towards trading. We are reactive to the chart, so as information gets pushed into the, into the chart from fundamentals, sentimentals, and each candle keeps coming out and changing, we basically react towards that information by being proactive. So we take the information and make our internal decisions of going long or short. Um, so our mission is profit. We really don't care about being right. We can release a trade on our blog on TradingView and say, you know, we're shorting WTI, which we were. It reached the profit area, or maybe it won't reach the profit area, and we might get a new indication for long, and we'll go long, but we just don't have the time to, you know, provide constant blog posts and trading view posts when our commitment responsibility and obligation is our community members so you get it now let me explain about being proactive um, i'll put it to you like this to most people when things are good they are good they are happy everything's okay and when i mean when things are good when there's no problems the weather is nice blah 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 they're okay as soon as something bad happens they go from good to bad that's being reactive Proactive is you being in a tough situation financially, health-wise, overweight, whatever, and you do something about it. That's being proactive, okay? So we help people be proactive by getting them into a prime mental state and provide them all the specific knowledge they need to trade the markets and then guide them to turn that knowledge into know-how. But without you taking the steps, without you doing the work, whatever we provide you is going to be worthless without you putting in the work okay so it's it's pretty simple anyway um look at this so on the left hand side you've got the the one hour chart of wti on the right hand side we've got the four hour the reason we're just focusing on the one hour and the four hours because the alerts were generated there um and basically that's what we are focused on uh short-term profits so look at this on the one hour we had the sell indication here on the news this was on thursday by the way uh, strong price action to the upside check this out there is the resistance you see that and price action came pretty much to that level completed the contraction went down here there is a continuation so you could have been long to the key level and then short to the 50 percent guess what it was reached new contraction is made we go long <laughs> so buy sell buy wow simple now the review on the four hour chart suggests as well selling here with the rsi in the top levels and price action pretty much finding resistance um here we're finding support at this level here from january 27th and also from the bottom of price to the top of price 61.8 support that's why we went long now let's go over the dax 
we've been shorting the DAX. We've been telling people it's going to go down. Check this out. There is still a lot of room, so we might go short on this because there is an accumulation happening right now here. We don't know if it's if price is going to go long or not. I'm not going to be going over that. I'm just saying why we went long, why we went short. There's the retest of this level. You see the support up is broken and then retest and you have the retest happening prior to this as well check this out right here this candle there's the resistance oh established up oh, again and you get in okay we went in a bit early but we made money you guys seen that so it, it worked out great um, now the support the TP here would be 13428 uh, 13428 would be this one here um, but there is a high chance it should continue dropping down here to 50% or 61.8. So we made money shorting this. You can see there is a support level from here that got broken. EMA DC uh, crossover and price action is steadily moving down. Let's go over the next one. Euro JPY. I'm just going to go over the four hour chart here. Check this out. Um, EMA support. Actually, let's go on the one hour too. So we have the EMA support. Here we have a continuation pattern you can see that happening for example like this so there is the support of this level the EMA support and price action broke up but we didn't close on the four hour above this level the good thing is there is still hope for bulls and that's why we're still in one of the trades because we have this support here okay resistance now support and guess what we just tested it or we were about oh no we did test it no we didn't anyway it's looking solid euro CHF Euro CHF had a really beautiful pattern. I mean, we have a possible triple bottom here. We have a contraction on the four hour breakout. We're now retesting this level again. It's really annoying. We have a reversal candle here and it's looking solid. Uh, check this out here. There it is too. Okay, looking solid. Euro GBP, this one here with a potentially a decent indication for upside. Price action using the resistance. Now support here. And it's looking pretty solid. Um, now let's go over USD CHF. Major contraction here, leading to a key level breakout. We still didn't reach the take profits. We went out early because of the trailing stop loss. Again, a decent trading day. Um, so that looks good. There's possibilities of selling this further, but that's pretty much it. This one here was a news trade. Contraction on the four hour chart. Problem is we have test of a resistance now on the four hour and the EMA, uh, but seems like a possible bullish continuation, at least for the short term side, we could see price action push up and reach our fake profit of 50% or 61. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's exactly how we made one and a half thousand euros um, in one day of trading. <laughs> okay, see you in the new week. And if you want to give us a test, head over to primetraders.com and take on the free trial. Bye bye now.